guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about the Adidas Calabasas Trek Pens and they just dropped today the 17th of November and I was actually contemplating if I should do a video about these but I asked you guys on Instagram and 80% of you guys said yes so this video is for you guys and if you're not already following me on Instagram, I'll leave my Instagram handle below so you can check it out. When I'm not on YouTube, I'm always alive on Instagram and I usually share what I'm doing and also what I'm eating. It's mostly food on my stories because I just like to eat. But anyway, if you guys are interested, you can go check that out. Back to the track pants. These retail for 180 Australian dollars, which I think is pretty fair. And they came out with two colorways in this drop. One of them is called Core Mink, and this is more of an olive tone. And the other one is Umber Core, and it is more of a brown mauve color. And by the way, I did not know that I was pronouncing mauve wrongly in my last Yeezy 700 mauve video. I kept calling it mauve, and someone told me in the comments that mauve rhymes with stove. And then I googled it, and I was like, oh. I didn't know. But anyway, I know now. Speaking of mauve, I feel like if you have the Yeezy 700 in the mauve colorway, then you should definitely pick up a pair of these track pants because they were made for each other. The tones are pretty much identical. So whether you go for the Core Mink or the Umber Core one, you can't go wrong. They are pretty similar when you see them in photos, so it's kind of hard to decide. But I have both of them and they both work really well. In this photo, I'm wearing the Umber Core and I paired it with this Yeezy Season 3 hoodie. And I think, I think it's a look. I'm really into like a really matchy set and I'm wearing like full Yeezy in this photo and I think it's definitely a look very fall appropriate even though we are going into summer here in Australia. In terms of sizing, I would recommend going true to size if you want a slimmer fit. Now here I'm wearing the Umber Core in an extra small and it is tighter around my thighs and yeah it's more like a fitted look if you want that Instagram patty kind of look like how Kim K wears it then you should go to true to size but if you want like more of a Kanye fit that would definitely going a size up where you get a looser more casual baggier fit I personally prefer a baggier fit on these so here I'm wearing a size S and you guys can see it's a lot more of a relaxed fit but keep in mind because you've gone a size up it will be a little bit loose around the waist but there is a drawstring so you can tighten in it so it fits around the waist so it's really up to you how you like it to fit so if you want the Kim K look true to size if you want the Kanye look then go a size up and I feel like the material on this is a little bit thin in comparison to my regular Adidas track pants this feel a little bit more slinkier and thinner but it's not necessarily a bad thing just something to keep in mind overall I'm a fan of these track pants it's really up to you which colorway you want to go for I feel like you can't go wrong with either of them so the umber core is a little bit of a darker colorway whereas the Core Mink is touch lighter and a little bit more olive. I'm going to show you guys what these track pants look like with a few pairs of Yeezys. So I have them on with the 700s, the 500s, as well as the 350s. Now you don't necessarily need a pair of Yeezys to wear this. They would look good with any kind of sneakers. I think Kanye actually pairs them with like the Yeezy boots. So you can definitely wear these with boots and it will be a look. Um, but yeah, let's jump into that. Let me know in the comments below if you're thinking about picking up a pair of these track pants. The last time I checked, they still had them available on the Sneaker Boy website. So hopefully by the time I upload this video, it's still available. I'll link it below so you guys can check it out. But thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload every Wednesdays and Sundays. And there will be a few upcoming Yeezy drops like the Sesame and the Salt. And I will definitely be doing a video on them. So make sure you guys stay tuned to that. And there will be a Futurecraft 4D drop on the 21st. That one is super limited and I'm pretty sure the places that are dropping them will do a raffle for them. So I'm going to try my best to get my hands on a pair of those so that I can do a video for you guys. But it's going to be tough, but I'm going to try. But yeah, thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate the support. And yeah, thank you so much again. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye. As well, there's three-fifths of the... Uh, uh,
will most probably, probably, why can't I say the places? Ah! Uh,